This weather forecast. Well, good morning. After a good soaking rain yesterday, we still have a few showers to get through today, though it's not going to be as widespread or as steady as what we saw for our Sunday. It's a good idea just to keep an eye to the sky. The cloud cover really not going anywhere today. Here in downtown Pottsville, clouds are hanging tough, at least at this point. There's no additional rainfall to talk about, but we still have the entire day to get through, and some showers will eventually make their way in just a little bit later on. And as of right now on radar, there's not much more than a little bit of a mist, if not a pocket of drizzle in some areas along and east of 81. There's actually not a whole lot to talk about. So from Clifford, downtown Scranton, Nanticoke, Jackson, even Pottsville, where we were just looking, there's really nothing coming down. And central Pennsylvania is where we have a little drizzle or some light mist. Now, the area of low pressure that brought us all of that rain yesterday has moved off to our north and east. But we're on the back side of this, so what tends to happen is we get those wraparound showers on the back end of this. So it's not as widespread, as steady, or as heavy as what we had yesterday but we're not totally out of the woods as far as rain is concerned for today. Temperatures, they're in the 30s and right around 40. Sealands Grove at 40, Pottsville, we're at 37, Mount Pocono, 33, Hazleton, we're at 36. We'll make it to the upper 40s and right around 50 today, which is well below that average, which comes in right around the mid-60s. We are going to get much closer to that over the next couple of days, but for today, it's going to be on the cooler side. And for today, allergy sufferers just a little bit of a break. We had that rain that's helping things out, but the pollen count today still at medium. So some sniffling and sneezing, though not as bad as it could be without that rain. There's that area of low pressure off to our north and east. And watch those showers just sort of wrap in as we go through this afternoon and this evening. Now, I won't rule out a couple of flakes in the northern tier but it does mainly look like a rain event. We get some clearing tonight, but cloud cover does mix back in tomorrow. A very isolated shower, but Tuesday does look mainly dry. Tuesday night, a few showers do move in. Wednesday, there's rain knocking on the door the entire day. While there'll be one or two showers in the middle of the afternoon, the bulk of this rain holds off. Take a look until Wednesday night. Going through early Thursday, that will be steady. Heavy at times, we'll even toss a thunderstorm into the mix through Thursday morning. By the afternoon, the main event, that rain, the steadiest of it, is moving out. But we still have a few showers left over Thursday afternoon. So in your eyewitness weather forecast for today, 48 for the high. It's mostly cloudy with mainly rain, but I won't rule out a snow shower if not a couple of flakes in the far reaches of the northern tier, where it will just be a little bit cooler. 36 tonight, we're back near 60 tomorrow, and we're near 60 Wednesday with an isolated shower during each day, but the rain really settles in Wednesday night into early Thursday. Toss a thunderstorm into the mix Thursday afternoon at some leftover scattered showers. Friday, there's a few showers. We're near 60. Saturday looks like a beautiful day at 64. Sunday looking for a little rain at 68. And don't forget about the Eyewitness Weather app. We can always download that on our phones and tablets. The interactive radar, a good tool for the rain over the next few days. Forecast always available at pahomepage.com. So there's a lot going on in that seven-day, Kelly. But I think the most important thing is the temperature consistently really near 60 for the rest of this week. Yeah, finally going to get a little bit warmer, and it's like Mother Nature's kind of getting with the program with the calendar now that it's going to be May this week. Can't believe that already. Stefano, thanks. Eyewitness News would like